I don't need to get rich in America. I do not need a college degree. They're not going to even ask me. You're going Facebook to- and Google all came out and said, they, you do not need a college degree to work here anymore. Okay. It doesn't hurt. And it usually helps. Okay. People with a college degree make- It helps people- put, Make put, over a million dollars more on average than someone without a college degree. It helps put people in debt, Vlad. Agree to disagree. Depends on the college. Nobody that goes to Harvard or Yale or Princeton complains about their college debt. Yeah, they Not at Stanford- Berkeley, nobody well, complains about their, you, bro? What? nobody complains about their college debt. Oh my debt. God, man. Okay, now if you go I've to, never, <laughs> if you go to, I remember when to you Heald, and I, you know, if you go to Heald College. Like most people do, by the way. Okay. Like most now people if you, do. If you go to We're one of those most colleges, if you go to like a regular unknown state school, yeah. then yes. How many people qualify to go to Harvard, Yale, MIT, or UCLA? Hey, listen, at the end of the day, how it's many? really up how to many, you. But how many? Not that many. Exactly. So Not what are that you many. talking about? I'm talking about, I'm talking about people. Well, how many people who get like computer science degrees or, or, you know, go to med school or whatever else, they don't complain about their college debt. Okay. You know, it's all about, I think you have to teach it more, you know, approach it more about learning a craft as opposed to just getting a degree. Having a history degree from any college is relatively useless. Having an art degree, art history degree, relatively useless unless you know you're going into the art world and that's all you want to do in life. But having a computer science degree, having a biology degree, having a mathematics degree, that will get you in the door in a lot of places. You're disagreeing with me. 100%. Okay. Oh, you're agreeing to disagree. It's $1.6 trillion worth of college debt. Yeah. Okay. America is suffering, man. The average person is fucking buried right now. I have have 15,000 families that rent for me. Like I have numbers on enough people to know whether they're paying 1,800 bucks a month, 2,000 bucks a month, 1,500 bucks a month, 2,200 bucks a month. These are real families, man. Not some headline by Bloomberg or CNBC feeding you some bullshit about, oh, you gotta have a higher education. You you know how long they've been feeding that bullshit to the black and brown community? Your only chance is a higher education. By the way, we'll give you the loan for free. You can pay us back one day when you get a job. Fucking mm. talk about slavery, modern day slavery. $1.6 trillion worth of debt, and I wasted four or five years of my life. 46% of all people that enter college are not out at six years. And I'm sorry, 46% are still not out after four years. 64% are spending as much as six years if they finish to get a master's. Yeah, I took four and a half years. I took five. I took four and a half years. Would you do it again? Off. Today, 21st century, right now. AI is right around the corner. Would you go to college today? 100%. 100%. You would? 100%. If I was 18 again? Yeah, 100%. I mean, at 50, I wouldn't go. Yeah. But yeah, at 18, 100%. Yeah I, yeah. I mean, learning how to learn is is a big deal. Being around people of, of you know, Being who are all exceptional. <laughs> Being, learning, learning. You see know what's happening on the campuses this week? Yeah, it's a mess. You want to be around that? Not, not around that. But that's not happening everywhere. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, you said 10 things you would never do again. Okay. College is number one. Yeah. Yeah, I did. See, I'm consistent. Emergency savings. Yeah. You have no emergency savings? I mean, look, I, no, not really. I don't need any. I mean, at this point in your life, you don't need any. But I'm saying, I know, uh, if you I, were an average cause I, person. Because I, I, well, I am an average person. No, you are not. 100%. You are not the average American by any I am stretch an av- of the imagination. 1,000%. <laughs> Yo, okay, the, the, I, I came from nothing, dude. Like, like everything I've done, I know. I don't, I'm not a coder. I'm not a fucking podcaster, a famous podcaster that spends time with what's your what's your guy's name uh, that talked about you on a Saturday Night Live? Uh, Seinfeld. Yeah, Seinfeld. Like, I don't have that kind of street cred, so um, I, I don't. I don't need emergency savings. This was a bank, another bank myth. You need three months of savings in case of the big emergency. Uh, dude, if you if you if you have an emergency, you need to go to work. You need to go hustle. Is what you need to do. In 2022, savers stay broke, bro. In 2022, yeah. the median net worth of the average American is 193 thousand yeah. dollars. How, how much of that is uh, equity in their home? Counted as equity in their home? Uh, not sure. Mm-hmm. But, but probably a good nice chunk. Yeah, and it shouldn't yeah. be. Equity in a home should never be considered as a net worth number. But you could take a second mortgage on it. It shouldn't be considered. It doesn't matter. You need a place to live. But you could take a second mortgage and still live in the same place. What's what's that? What's the what's the point? It's a place you live. It'd be like me yeah, counting. I, I would never do that. It'd but be like you know, me counting my refrigerator cash. on my net worth statement. Your net worth. If the you own your house outright, then then that's part of your net worth. No, no, no. I need a place to live. 
Right. It should not be. It should not be considered with an accounting degree in my background, in my pedigree. Okay. The sure. value of your home should not be considered as a net worth item because one, it doesn't produce income. Two, it's a liability because you're paying property taxes. You probably have debt on it. Okay? One, one percent it, property tax, yeah. No, usually two percent in Florida. Okay? One, one to two percent. It's enormous, but you're going to pay one percent out here. Vlad, you're going to pay thirty years. That's thirty percent. It's not one percent. It's thirty percent, and it goes up every year. Well, thirty percent of the total price of the house <laughs> over thirty years. I mean, it, that's a little different. You don't pay it one year. Well, you, you pay, pay it every year. Property taxes yeah, get exactly. paid every so year based on the price of the house. If you keep the house thirty years, what was it? Thirty percent. Exactly. Okay. What was the maintenance? Another one percent. Average maintenance on a home today is 1% a year. That's another 30%. Right. Taxes when you bought it. Uh, let's just do broker fees when you bought it. 6%. Somebody took six on the front. Somebody took six no, on no, the back. No, no, 3% on the front, 3% on the back. No, it's six, dude. It's no, six. no, no. It's six, bro. No. What the fuck are you talking about? You paid six points on your... It's six. The Flat. buyer, the buying agent gets three and the selling agent gets three. You're saying it's six, six. six to total. You said that. You said six and six. No, no, I said 12. six total. Six, six total, Six right. on the front. Oh, when you, you buy sell it. it. Yeah, 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 right. Six yeah. on the back when you sell it. Now, got it, got it, now, got it. Now, yeah, yeah no. So if it's 100 grand, you paid $6,000 in, in fees. That is not any value to the user or the home. Right. And 6% when you go to sell. Mm. So now you're at six, you're at one, plus one, your property taxes. That's eight times 30 is 240%. You'd have to make 240% if I did the math right. No, yeah, yeah, that's right. Eight, two, 240%. If you kept the house 30 years to break even and you haven't paid interest on a loan yet.